Once you pick your jumper, It's always fun to look around and see fans singing our stars spangled band. Get in the spirit. That'd be a good one tonight. Don't go away. The 2K Sports Pregame Show. Hey folks, coming right up. The Los Angeles Clippers taking the floor against the Toronto Raptors. Checking out Toronto. They've started the season on an extremely upbeat note, winning eight of their first nine games. They've been solid in just about every aspect. And the trend continues, Shaq. Some first-round rookies being asked to play big roles early on. You know, player development has changed quite a bit. You know, the organization fans, we want immediate returns now. Yeah, a lot of pressure on these young players, Ernie, when they're coming into the league. Some rise to the occasion, but others fold under the weight of their expectations. That'll do it for us for now. Thanks a lot for joining us. Welcome, basketball fans, to a very special Veterans Day edition of the NBA on 2K Sports. Moments away, it'll be the Los Angeles Clippers going up against the Toronto Raptors with Greg Anthony and Hall of Famer Doris Burke. This is Kevin Harlan, and we're pleased to have on the sidelines tonight, David Aldridge. Hey, Dave. In the last few years, we've seen league-wide scoring surge in the NBA. Now, many credit years of defensive rules changes, such as limiting hand-checking on and off the ball and getting rid of contact in the paint now, everyone isn't pleased with these changes. Some say defense is no longer allowed. But a higher pace of play, more efficient shot selection. It sure is fun to watch, D.A. Thank you. And this is what the schedule looks like for the Clippers. On Wednesday, they'll start out on the road and play the Rockets in Houston. Then on Thursday, they'll be facing Drew Holiday and the New Orleans Pelicans. So let's take a look at the Toronto Raptors starting lineup. Davis is out there with Elijah Wong. And it's ABC. And there's Carter. And it's Alston in at the point. And for the Clippers, ABC is out there with ABC. And it's the dude. And it's ABC. And it's ABC in at the point guard position. Now here's Odom. Here's the dude. Pass to Maggette. Shot clock at six. It's blocked. Carter looking around. Here's Alston. And it's off the back rim. No good. Odom with it. Picked up by Davis. Here's McGinnis. And oh boy, a lot of contact there. But he gets the call and will shoot two. Well, adjusting to the NBA game for this latest class of rookies, Doris. Always growing pains. A, a feeling out process. There are, um, it's always interesting to watch that being put together. There are, Kev. There always seem to be a couple of welcome to the NBA moments as a rookie. <laughs> Certainly you might take your lumps here and there, but this is a talented young group. Can't wait to see what they do. I can't either. Here is Alston. 11-point game is last outing. Carter outside. Now the pass to Elijah Wan. Six to shoot. Out to Carter, the three, the offensive rebound, Davis for the three, and Carter with the basket on the assist by Davis. And he likes to get in a rhythm early, nice triple. Here's the dude, defended by Carter. Here's Piatkowski, trying to come right back with the three of his own, but it's no good. And it's Carter. Whoa, that oh, was wow. a strong dunk. That is nice. Oh, good look there as well. And this is what Hakeem's worked on. Pay too much attention to him, and he'll burn you with a nice find. Here's ABC. Nine points last game.
passes to Maggette. Picked him clean. Here's Alston. Finishes the break with a slam. That's a double whammy, guys. <laughs> That's right. A great defensive play, then the emphatic stuff. Uh, let's see if that serves as a momentum builder. What a great sequence for this group. Now, here is Maggette. He had a 15-point outing in their last game against Portland. This offense has really been clicking. And they know it, guys. They're playing right now with the kind of energy that is hard to deal with. Now the Clippers moving it up. Finished off the break. And that's such good work to make this a one-possession game. Terrific steal to get it all started. Carter against Odom. Right side Davis. Six on the shot clock. No one near him. Alston can't get it to go. All by himself, trying to step up. He's got to be frustrated with the miss. Odom, the pass to ABC. Out to the right wing. Hyatkowski. It's good. This game is all even. And he found the perfect spot behind the arc there. Big gap in the deep. Carter on the wing. The shot's good. Alston making the play. That's seven points for Vince Carter. Well, it was the Clippers, their last game a loss to the Trailblazers, outside Odom. Here's the dude, defended by Carter. Back to Odom. Here's Maggette. And that won't go, missing the go-ahead bucket. Toronto, they've gone 4-7 of seven from the field, shooting over 50%. Carter, the pass to Elijah Wan, and the rejection by Brand. Pass to Alston. Toronto working the ball around now. Carter with it. He's picked up by Brand. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. All oh, the officials are all over that one. The Raptors shooting their first free throws of the game, and that one falls for Elijah Wan. And last season, the first ever NBA Finals for the Toronto Raptors. What a tremendous run, Greg. Think about it. In the Eastern Conference Finals, they go down 0-2 before winning more straight to close out the Bucks. And forget about the city of Toronto. The entire country of Canada was on fire for Raptors basketball. And how do they reward them? NBA championship. Clippers have gone 3-7 of from the field since we've gotten underway. Here's ABC. Back to Odom. Here's ABC. Shoots it. No luck that time in the shot that would have put them on top. And so it's Carter who brings the ball up for the Raptors. And this is the first season matchup for them against this Clippers team. Yeah, and taking on an interconference foe, certainly not a rival. They're the better team, and they showed it, winning both matchups last season. Left side, Odom. Pass to the dude. Fouled in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway, so a three-point play chance for him. Yeah, he earned that one. I mean, taking the hit and still able to get that one to go down. And he's got his first chance at the line here. Stolen. ABC passes to Brink. Stolen by Carter. Down low. And Vince Carter with the slam. And that's what Carter does best. Knifing his way inside so he can finish with the easy slam. Here's McGinnis. That shot off. So the Raptors will take it the other way. Their last game, a win against the Lakers, looking to carry it into this one. Well, on the road, you don't expect to look so comfortable on the offensive end, but that was the story of the game. It came down to execution. No wasted possessions, and that is absolutely essential trying to win on the road. Here's ABC. Makes it off the glass. ABC's got six. And the D had no answer for that move. Beautifully done. Easy layup. Carter outside. 
Again, Toronto. Time out, time out. You can see it. Once this guy gets his rhythm, he is so hard to slow down. What an excellent night for him and his team. And the Clippers decide to take their first time out here. They're moving on after the tough loss they took at the hands of the Blazers. Well, what did them in was all the missed free throws. It could have been a much different outcome. I thought, Greg, the frustration at the line was evident. And it makes it easy on the defense when you're not capitalizing once they put you at the free throw line. Here's what the Clippers are going with right now. ABC's checked in for ABC. And it's Richardson in for the dude. And Toronto has possession after the Clippers pick up two. They get the rebound. And, and already they take out a noticeable advantage in terms of aggression and controlling the backboard. Now here is Carter. He's guarded closely. Right side Davis. Here's Peterson. No good on the three. Los Angeles is gone, just one of four from three-point range here in the first. Here's Odom. Beautiful dish, and the layup goes down. Odom's got the game tied up here for the Clippers. And really, it's been a major aspect of their offense in the early stages here. Their success working the ball inside and getting points from close range. Now here's Williams. He's still scoreless so far in this one. The pass to McCoy. Lock at six. Here's Peterson. Banked in off the glass. And the Raptors lead by two. Nice job creating for the easy deuce. Here's ABC. He's guarded by Williams. Two points. That one goes. All right. Defensively now, you've got to find a way to slow this guy down because he's putting it to you. Ooh. Oh, that's unbelievable. He's put on a show for these fans. I can't believe he pulled that one out in the course of an actual game. Here's ABC. He's guarded by Williams. Grant. That one's not going to go. And it's the Raptors taking it the other way. Carter, the pass to Williams. Over Richardson. And there's Williams. That's good on the assist from Carter. Carter's got his third assist on the night. Kicks to Odom. Pass to Richardson. Brand outside. From outside the arc, a three-pointer is right on target. And offensively right now, each team getting what it wants. Yeah, this is already a high-scoring game, but we knew that was a possibility coming into this one. Carter against Richardson. That drive by Carter and finish off by Carter. And you know Carter is taking off on the drive. When he has a head of steam like that, he's looking to tear off the rim. Here's ABC. Eight points for him. Here's Williams, and it's blocked. Stripped away. Carter outside. And the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. And I need to see some more assertiveness out of these defenders. For the Clippers, the prodigy is checked in for ABC. The dude comes in for ABC. And ABC is subbed in for ABC. Then for the Raptors, Williams is checked in for Davis. And Murray subbed in for ABC. You've seen a lot of these big men come and go in this league. Who would you say right now is the most complete big man in the NBA? Well, two guys come to my mind immediately, and that's Joel Embiid, who I think probably could be more efficient with his three-point shooting, but is still enough of a threat that you have to guard him out there. They enter the ball through him in the post, and he can be a dominant scorer. He can also put it on the deck. And then Anthony Davis, who you could say all of those attributes that Joel Embiid has, the Brow has as well. Those are two of the most complete, dominant two-way big men in today's game. It's blocked. Richardson against Carter. And there's a whistle. There's a foul. That's going to go on the dude. That's his... 
here is Alston. ABC is out there with ABC, and it's ABC, and it's ABC, and it's the dude in at the shooting guard. So that's the lineup on the floor for the Clippers. Here's Carter, and finished off by Carter. Hey, guys, I don't know that this is the time for that kind of flair. In a close game, the important thing is to get the two points, not necessarily the dramatic. Oh, come on. He had to go for that, <laughs> didn't he? My goodness. <laughs> ABC passes to Brand. And, oh, here we go. Carter's got it in the fast break chance. And finish off by Carter. Oh, that's an old-fashioned rim rack. Uh, just a remarkable gem. These fans' jaws are on the ground right now. ABC passes to Odom. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. For Los Angeles, they have missed two free throws in the game, going five for seven. And last season, as a team, they knocked down 79% of their free throws, so those are numbers you'll be happy with. He's perfect from the line this time. Here's Peterson. Six points for him. Carter outside. Shot clock at five. The Raptors need to get a shot. Up. Alston can't get it to go. Well, this is the night you look at your teammates and tap them on the back and say, good job, because for him, he's been struggling all night. On the sideline, let's catch up with Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Well, Kevin, over the last few years, there's been a lot of talk about seeding playoff teams 1 through 16, regardless of conference. Now, taking the top 16 teams is a tough sell, especially for owners whose teams are in the relatively weaker Eastern Conference. And taking eight teams from each conference and then cross-seeding earlier than the finals is something that does seem possible down the road. The reward for fans might be a finals matchup with the two best teams in the league. Kevin? Interesting ideas. David, thank you. And uh, Akeem Olajuwon pulls it down. Carter finds Davis. Back to Carter. Now Alston from about 19 feet. And it's the Clippers with the rebound. Brand's got four rebounds in this game. Pass to ABC. Here's Odom. He's guarded by Elijah Wan. And oh, here we go. Carter's got it in the fast break chance. And it's Davis finishing it off. You gotta love his hustle, leaving the defense no time to react. The finishing transition, nice and easy. Los Angeles calls timeout. And starting to send guys to the line way more than they need to. Let's get some good position defense going here. That should be the emphasis and get away from the sloppy foul. Let's use this break for a quick look at the squads that really made it happen on the fast break last season. In fourth, the Raptors. I mean, this is such a tough team to deal with. You see the numbers. They would just push the ball at every opportunity. The Clippers have gone seven of nine from the free throw line tonight. First free throw is good. And so he's able to get one of two. Toronto leading by five. Carter outside. Here's Elijah one. That shot, no good. The Clippers go the other way with it. Here's Maggetti, and he gets it to go from the corner. Maggetti's got 10 points now, just in this quarter. And not a great start for him in the first, but he's quickly starting to turn it around. Back to Carter. Pass to Alston. There's the triple. Here's Elijah one, and contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. And with their struggles at the line this quarter, that free throw percentage has dropped down to about 55%. That's not going to get it done. And they're having a lot of trouble at the line today. And unfortunately, it's the kind of day we've seen this team have a lot. Here's ABC. He's covered by Alston. McGinnis in the hoop for his fourth field goal. Four for seven shooting and looking for more. Working against size 
He's just crafty enough to carve out some wiggle room. I'll tell you, the analytics crew may not like the mid-range, but sometimes you just got to put it in the basket. Here's Peterson. A shot's good. Alston making the play. Alston's got four assists in the game. Great finish. What a setup. Terrific ball movement there. Here's ABC. 11 points in the game. And it's the Clippers scoring again. Yes. Toronto's gone one of four from three-point range in the second. Not a whole lot dropping out there for them. 151 left in the first half. Good ball movement here by the Raptors. Just five on the clock. Fades away. Carter, that's good. Carter's got 26. And obviously his momentum from the last game has carried over here tonight. No, I think that's the one thing every player is searching for. Consistency. They're giving this guy a chance to carry the offense once again. Raptors with the lead. There's 117 left to play in the first half. And the call on the shot sends him to the line. Raptors have not shot all that well from the free throw line. Six of 11. And as a team, excellent. A season ago, about 80% when they got to the line. And he's good on the second. 114 left in the first half. There's the pass to Odom. Here's the dude. Passes it to ABC. Can't tie it up as that one's no good. Something that's kept this game close is the fact that the rebound stats for both teams are almost identical. Pass to Peterson. Shot. From deep three-point range. Rebound by the Clippers. And when you as good a shooter as he is you have the confidence you have to have the confidence to take that shot it might not always fall and for most guys i think you only want to take that shot if you hit a few in a row that is absolutely a heat check abc's checked in for the clippers richardson comes in for the dude clippers trail by three and this will be the last possession of the quarter if they're patient well it's amazing greg if you finish quarters the right way it can have such a great impact on the outcome of a game and it's carter penetrating to the paint here's davis that one falls coming off carter's feet carter's got his sixth assist on the night and guys they continue to put a lot of pressure on the interior defenders with their work down low and that's it for the first half of action what's been a very close game here it's the raptors they're up by three we'll be back shortly live from staples center in downtown los angeles the 2k sports halftime show and we hope you enjoyed the competitive first half of action. Ernie Johnson here welcoming you back to the 2K Sports Halftime Show. That guy right there is Shaquille O'Neal, and that guy right there is Kenny the Jet Smith. The first quarter for the Raptors was fairly even. At the end of the period, they held a two-point lead. The second quarter was a tight battle, but they were the slightly better team. Not by very much, however. And taking a look at the Raptors, Kenny, what did you see out there? Well, they've been pounding. I mean, pounding in in the paint. Not just taking the first three-pointer when it came across. That keeps the defense on its toes. And over to Shaq. Now your take on the Clippers. Way too many turnovers, Ernie. Understand pushing the action, trying to make things happen. But you got to be under control. Force turnovers are one thing. Being completely careless is another. And that's a wrap. With the third quarter approaching, we now send you... And 
if you're just joining us, we've played through the first half in a game that's been fairly even so far. Look at Vince Carter in this game. I mean, he's been everywhere. He's done a fantastic job of finding open space to operate within the first few quarters. One of the things every player is after is efficiency at the offensive end. And boy, this young guy has done just that. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups courtesy of Gatorade for the second half of basketball. So the Raptors five right now. They've got ABC. Elijah Wan is out there with Davis. Then there's Carter. And it's Alston in at the point. And he gets it back. That shot wide open. ABC's got 16. Such a reliable threat from range. You'd think the defense might key on him a little bit more. And the foul called on ABC. That's his first foul. Carter outside. Shot clock at six. He feeds it to Elijah Wan. Shakes him. That's in there. Carter with the assist. Carter's got his seventh assist here tonight. And that's just too deep. Uh, Elijah Wan with way too many moves in there. Almost automatic. It's not going to go for him. Great D that time from Davis. Carter drives in. Oh, a nice defensive play to disrupt the alley-oop. Here's ABC. He's covered by Alston. Here's McGinnis. Rebound by the Raptors. Davis has got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. All right, time now to pick it up. You're one for four, and you certainly don't want to give your opponent momentum. Well, I'll tell you what, he earned his money on that foul. First one falls for him. A lot of switching on every possession in the NBA from a defensive standpoint, and you see the way Doris offenses are adjusting to that. Yeah, I think, number one, you have to attack the switch. That's first and foremost. And it's an interesting balance between attacking and being patient. Because the one thing you're ultimately seeking in every switch is a favorable matchup for yourself. That's where a critical thinking guard who knows where to find and put the ball is so critical to your success. That's a good way to look at it. Here's ABC. He's covered by Alston. Off on the layup. And so it's Carter who brings the ball up for the Toronto Raptors. Since the second half started, they've only given up three points. And really, this is the time to push it. Try to extend that lead. You know, they can make things much easier on themselves in the fourth if they just have a few more possessions like that. ABC passes to the dude. Clippers moving the ball around. Here's ABC. He's got 16. Baseline try. Oh, and that one had the right spit on it, and it is good. Eight points for the two. Carter on the wing. 30 points in the game. Back to Davis. And now the Clippers on the break. Here's Piatkowski. Here's Brand. And finished off by Brand. That's a stomach punch, guys. Mm. Turn it over. The Clippers also. We're changing it up. The Prodigy is checked in for ABC. ABC comes in for ABC. And it's Richardson in for the dude. And they now lead as the free throw drops for him. Los Angeles has gone to the three-point shot eight times already in the second half and hit four of them. Kicks it to Miles. Pass to Olawa Candy. Here's ABC. In the corner, it's Richardson. And no good. Had a chance to take the lead there. Guys, this offense very effective. And guys, the defense has been no match. They've just picked them apart. Carter outside. Six to shoot. Misses off the left iron. You, you almost have to assume he's going to knock those down when he is that open. Richardson the pass to Oluwa Candy. Here's ABC. 24 points for him. And he recovers it. 
Carter against Richardson. Carter, the pass to Williams. That one falls, coming off Carter's feet. Williams has got four points in the quarter. They didn't have much of a problem getting the ball into the post that time. It's Miles atop the key. And there's the pass to Richardson. Los Angeles with another miss. Raptors leading by three. Richardson with the double team. Williams dishes to Carter. Back to Williams. Carter on the wing. Fires from 18. And the shot goes in. Carter's got 32 points in the game. Well, he's been shooting it so well because he's been so active, moving and working to get high percentage shots. Here's Richardson. It's good. 102 left in the third. Williams with the ball. He's picked up by Brand. Williams passes to Peterson. Right on the bucket. Peterson's got 14 points. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. Here's ABC. Inside. A jump hook. Olo Candy misses. The game has been very close in a lot of areas, but rebounding has been the one differentiator thus far. Shots good by Williams. Sometimes a player is born with a passer's mindset. He deals it with conviction. Here's ABC. Five to shoot. From deep. That shot is off. The third quarter comes to a close. Raptors lead by seven. And we're coming back in just a moment. Get ready for the fourth quarter of action when we return. In a moment now, as we take a look at our State Farm assists of the game. Yeah, a terrific, unselfish play right here. Set up his teammate, and how about the setup this way? Boy, GA, how about the secondary playmaking you are getting? Great to have that from the shooting guard spot. And this is it. Glad to have you along for this fourth and final quarter. They've got ABC. ABC is out there with ABC. Then there's the prodigy, and it's Richardson in at the shooting guard position. So that's the lineup on the floor for the Clippers. From downtown, they get it again. And here's Carter. And then Carter with the dunk. Adding to their advantage, trying to find a way to blow this one open. And Greg, one of the things they're doing is identifying favorable matchups and then going at them. Brand passes to Miles. Back to Brand. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. And really the defense fouling there to prevent the layup, but that's exactly what you need to do. And even though they're down, they are putting on a show at the free throw line. Raptors leading by seven. Here's Williams. Harder on the wing. Richardson cover. Goes up at the stripe. Carter, that's good. Carter's got the lead up to nine now for the Raptors. Really, really good possession there. They've never lost their focus, even as the game's gotten tight. You know, a few more possessions like that one, and they can put the finishing touches on this game. They just have to have effective trips like that one. Here's ABC. He's guarded by Williams. Brand trying to free himself up. And the Clippers miss again. Good job by him on the glass here tonight. Plus eight in that department. Yeah, you know, simply stated, you have to take care of the basketball, and they don't on that possession. And the Clippers making a change here. Odom's checked in. 
takes one. Good D by Elijah Wan. Raptors leading by nine. Here's Carter. A chance to extend the lead to double digits, but it's no good. Miles the pass to ABC. Feeds it to Odom. Picks it out to Richardson. It's stolen by Carter. Here's Peterson. Here's McCoy. And the rejection by Brand. First free throw is good. And Elijah Watton drops them both. Dora, it's such an honor to be on this with you, and, and you were the first female to become a full-time NBA analyst, uh, breaking new ground. You've accomplished so much in your life, personally, professionally. What would you tell young women who are graduating college looking to get ahead in their career and what you've chosen? Well, first and foremost, I've been very lucky, Kevin. The game of basketball has been a part of my life since I was seven. It's been a driving force. I love it. I would just tell young women, and times are changing. Um, dream big. There's nothing that's impossible. And I'm so thankful to the NBA players and coaches who have just wrapped their arms around me from the time I entered uh, this business. So kudos to those players who are part of the change, no question. And hard work. I have seen you work. I have seen you prepare. No one prepares more. No one works harder than you. Thanks, Kev. And so it's Williams who brings it up for the Toronto Raptors. And he gets contact and the whistle on the shot. Two shots coming up. It's harder, just a freak of nature. One of the best dunkers the game has ever seen. A, a top-tier shooting guard who just embraces the spotlight. The dude, he's checked in for Richardson. And the Raptors also making a change. Olsen's checked in. Davis against Miles. And then Miles with the dunk. And, and didn't do anything fancy there, but didn't need to. Nope. He, his only concern right now is getting the points on the board. And I, I don't mean style points. Toronto leading by eight. Passes it to Carter. A look at the clock. A little under three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth. Odom with the double team. Six on the shot clock. Here's Peterson. The putback. It's good on the putback. They've shown some strength in the paint today. Their work on the boards has been impressive. Here's ABC. on the layup. Well, get it inside to a quality score and let this guy do his thing. Carter kicks to Alston. Here's Peterson. Carter outside. And finished off by Carter. He's going to put that one in his scrapbook. Insane dunk. And now they're starting to rub it in. Build up a lead, and here we go, baby. It is showtime. Here's ABC. He's covered by Alston. And he gets the bucket. ABC's got 13 points in the second half. Boy, that's beautiful touch on the floater. And let's remember, not everyone has that shot in their arsenal. Alston passes to Peterson. No good on the triple. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. Hyatt Cuffs. And the Clippers getting another bucket right there. Raptors leading by six. Carter outside. And finished off by Carter. Oh, let's go home. That was just <laughs> ridiculous. I do not remember the last time I saw a dunk like that in a game. L.A. has gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. And the Clippers call time here. And no doubt coach wants them to shore up their interior defense. I think right now they're giving up way too many easy looks. That is a recipe for disaster. ABC's checked in for the Clippers. He gets a chance now to catch up with the fourth member of our crew, Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Well, I was able to listen in on what Alvin Gentry said to his team. 
No surprise, he was not happy with the turnovers. He told them, we are giving this one away, guys. We've got to be more careful with the ball. Play within the offense and get good open shots. Kevin? Well, we love his ability to attack the rim. He just loses a little bit of focus and misses the chippy. And it's sent back by Carter. And it's on a bounce to the Clippers as the Clippers retain possession. The pass to the dude. Just five to shoot. Here's Maggetti. Defensively, you know, a little uneven in that first half, but they've been far more focused and consistent here in the second. Carter dish it to Davis. Here's Alston, and too much time in the lane. They get called for the three-second violation. Clippers trail by eight. Here's ABC, and he banks in the layup. ABC's got four points this quarter. Alston with the ball. Carter on the wing. Pass to Peterson. That's in there. Carter with the assist. Carter's got 10 assists here tonight. So active. A good look there, and he didn't waste it. His second three of the game. Maggetti with it, picked up by Davis. Maggetti kicks it to Oda. Lock at six. Passes it to the dude. Good work defensively by Carter. Well, that's a case where a guy's trying to make a play, trying to take it up strong, but the defense was ready. Clippers moving it up. Here's Piatkowski. Misses the baby hook. And they hold a huge advantage on the backboard. Here's Peterson. No good with the triple. Boy, the wheels have definitely fallen off in this quarter. He cannot buy one. The dude passes to Brandt. And Davis pulls it down. Davis has got rebound number eight here tonight in the game. It's good. That's eight baskets for him now. Eight for 15 shooting. Building confidence in that deep ball. One from distance in the first, two in the second. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. Kicks it to Brand. It's stolen by Elijah Wan. Fast break Toronto. And the basket is good, and he's got a chance here for one more at the line. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket coming off a pretty pass. And thus far, they've managed to overcome an off game from him offensively. Here's the dude to the wing right side. Maggetti outside. The Clippers need to get off a shot. Fader on the way. That one's good, and the Raptor lead is kept down now to just 12 on the basket from Odom. They seem to concede that shot, and his response is, thank you very much. Here's Carter. Trying to get open is Davis. Pass to Alston. Back to Carter. And the rejection by Brand. Pushing it up. and grabs the miss. And that is a textbook example of how to defend your rim. That boy to have someone back there who can erase. Your mistakes. What a big time asset defensively. Clippers trail by 14. Here's ABC. He kicks to Maggetti. Takes a three. Rebound by the Raptors. Carter's got his seventh rebound here tonight. The pass to Alston. Over Pyatkowski. And the Raptors tack on two more. And boy, did he ever sell the pump fake. Worked to absolute perfection. 
Here's ABC. He's covered by Alston. Bangs home the trifecta. 15 points for the Dude. Their ability, again, to stretch the floor, particularly in this second half. And guys, boy, when you're hitting, it sure does work. It obviously opens up major options at the offensive end. Man, I love seeing Carter take flight. Been Saturday, a powerful dunker on these alley-oops. Los Angeles has gotten some tough luck from three-point range. In the fourth quarter, they've hit just one of six from deep. Here's Odom. Davis with some nice deep. Raptors leading by 15. Carter drives in. Yeah, the defender all over. That's good from Vince Carter. Williams, he's checked in for big cap. And good on the second, so he makes them both. And the Clippers call time here. They're trailing by 17. 135 left in the fourth quarter. And now we've got a moment for our Jordan player of the game. Big group substitution here for the Clippers. ABC's checked in for ABC. ABC comes in for the franchise. ABC's checked in for the dude. And it's Richardson in for ABC. On the free throw, no good. Chris, all right, this is going to come out of the blue here, but if you had to choose between raising the height of the basket or widening the floor or even widening the lane, which would it be? I have very strong feelings on this, Kevin, and I, for me it would be widening the floor. And the reason I say that is it feels to me in the last couple of years there are more sideline violations where teams are turning it over because they're trying to get to that corner three, one of the most advantageous, best shots in today's game. But because that three-point line is so close to the sideline out of bounds, we're seeing too many violations. So if I had to choose between one or the other, I would absolutely widen the floor. And, and so just rolling to the finish line now in what has been a very confident-looking performance for Toronto. They really had it going, guys. Their offense propelled them. In this case, it was the higher shooting percentage that made the difference and earned them the W. And they took charge when it counted, and they'll be notching their ninth win overall. And so they win their first game against this squad. It's a two-game season series, and they'll be going for the sweep the next time they face off. And one of the key components to this victory, if not the biggest, was the incredible performance for Vince Carter. What you love about his performance is that he is simply taking what the defense allows and then making the most of his opportunities. 23 seconds left to play in the final quarter. The shot's good. Alston making the play. Carter's got 53. Saw the opportunity to put this away and did not turn it down. Yeah, playing with great energy and great effort. And as a coach, you'd love to see this from your team every single night. And out of bounds as Toronto gains possession. And, and that's just carelessness there. I mean, you have got to have your head in the game. No good. And so Toronto takes this one, but by a big margin. This crowd was stunned by the manner in which their team was dismantled. You know what? Shocking. I don't care what the matchup is. You never expect a road team to come in and just cruise to the kind of win they did tonight. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Doris Burke, David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, and the rest of our terrific 2K Sports crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Have a great evening.